Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what is their true intentions toward you. So we're going to be looking at what's their long-term intentions toward you. What do they want from this connection? Are they interested in a relationship? Are they interested in playing around? What, what's their deal? So guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you look at personal reading with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. The Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com and the holiday giveaway is still going on, Virgo. So stick with me till the end for all those details. And guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Also, Virgo, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you, Virgo. All three of these, Virgo, make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch. All right, so what's going to happen? My Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is Virgo's love interest's true intentions towards them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see that there is a loving connection here, a loving and devoted kind of connection. Also, for me, the Queen of Cups energy is somebody who is trying to figure out what they want emotionally. It's interesting also how this particular cup is protected. It's like, um, you know, uh, it's not open. It's, it's, uh, it's like this person's still protecting themselves when it comes to love. And I feel like they are hesitant to dip their toe into the situation still. Um, I feel like they're still kind of contemplating what they want here emotionally when it comes to love. And there's this hesitation here. Nine of Pentacles tells me that there could be a money focus or there could be a selfish kind of focus there with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Of course, I'm going to clarify further, Virgo, just to be sure. We see that this person does also have attraction towards you, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Okay, let's keep going here. We also see that there's patient energy when it comes to what they want here. Um, Queen of Cups talks about emotions and nines talk about fulfillment of desires in passionate energy. Let's keep going here. We got the Three of Pentacles energy. We have the Two of Swords energy. And we have the Ace of Pentacles energy. Wow. So this person does look like there may be more than one person involved with your situation here, Virgo. There could be a third party and it's leaving this person indecisive about what to do here. Like they're at a crossroads. And um, it does look like, though, the Ace of Pentacles is coming out. Even though there's some indecisions about a person, possibly maybe they feel like you have someone else, they're indecisive about this, but they do want to offer you something serious here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. But I want to clarify further, Virgo, just to be sure. So let's get more information. So it's, like, it's almost like if I look and see what is the indecision about. Should I be single and available here? Should I be self-focused here? Right? Um, I need to be patient here to figure out, should I work together with this person? You know, can, can we work together? I'm indecisive. Is there potential here for a long-term commitment? Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. That's Virgo's love interest. What is their true intentions towards Virgo? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So let's see what this Queen of Wands is about. A person card's coming out. Heart card. Okay, so that person card, as I always tell you guys about Lenormand, person could be you, could be the love interest, could be a person infringing upon the connection. So we see a person and love indecisive at a crossroads. He is coming out, which talks about an opportunity or something important. Longing, travel, movement, or change. 
the key is some kind of change or movement when it comes to people. So definitely this person is looking and examining other people around the situation here, Virgo. So be aware of that. It looks like they have love for you with the heart card energy, but they're indecisive or they need to make some kind of choice or they're at a crossroads here when it comes to attraction. It's like they want to um, offer you something solid here, but they have concern about people involved with this. Okay, let's keep going. Marriage. Ace of Pentacles, wow. Then we come out with these three cards. Well, these next cards. So, they want something solid. They want a foundation. There's something to do with marriage. They want some kind of good news about a long-term commitment. They want to do and say all the right things with the King of Swords energy. They want to make this decision. And uh, they want to cut away, cut out arguments and fights after a long time with the Lily's card energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So we got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So we can see at the central theme here, now the ship card talks about missing you, traveling towards you, and having some indecisions about how things are going to move here when it comes to this opportunity. They may want to go out with you with the garden card energy because this garden card can talk about socializing, going out, okay? And offering you something serious here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. They are looking like they're indecisive here and it's like they want to be patient here because they're concerned about doing and saying the right things here with the King of Swords energy. See, we see the Scythe card talks about abrupt decisions which could cause hurt and pain after a long time. We're trying to be patient here because Lily's talks about a patient energy and they want to be wise in their decision making. We see there's a person here and movement, travel, or change after a while. Indecisions about this change because of this decision. So let's keep going here, Virgo. Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one I want to know about. What is Virgo's love interest and tensions towards them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so definitely chemistry and passion. They're indecisive. Again, they're at a crossroads. They're like, I don't know what to do. They're going to have heart to heart conversations with you about this indecision when it comes to this chemistry and passion. This person wants to resolve family, long term commitment, or something to do with money. This person is indecisive about the movement, the change in the situation when it comes to this potential for love. And we see that there could be people involved with the situation because the socializing cards coming out. Could be family or friends, or they may have concerns about the fact that there are other people involved. Your love interest really wants the sense of happiness here. But they are having concerns about these negative and unhealthy obstacles in, in the way. And this person really wants to assert themselves to take control of the situation. So let's go through this. Chemistry and passion, when it comes to family and long-term commitment, would make them very happy. But they're indecisive about this opportunity of true love because there's challenges here. They want to talk with you about these people and assert themselves to take control of the situation. So let's go down another layer here. There's something to do with a person and an opportunity about a decision. And love and travel, movement, change, or longing or missing that's causing a lot of hurt and pain. They're indecisive about people going out after a long time or trying to be patient about it. You can even see the central theme here is this indecision within them. So their intentions, they're a little bit indecisive. It's like, can we work together? Is there a third party situation going on here? Is there another person involved with this? Is there going to be an opportunity here for me pertaining to a long-term commitment? I really want to move forward with them for some kind of huge potential here with the uh, Page of Pentacles energy. And I want something serious here with the Four of Wands energy. But I'm going to have to be logical about this. I'm going to have to use my head and my 
you know, say the right things and do the right things and play politics here. And it looks like there is attraction here with the Queen of Wands energy, and that's the reason why this person wants to offer you something serious here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. But they're going to try to do it in a very political way with the King of Swords. So they may come off a little bit cold, but they are interested in something more serious here with that Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles being there. All right, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two. All you have to do for the holiday giveaway is put blessed in love in the comments below, guys. I'll be picking two people for a free person reading and one for the holiday gift giveaway. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.